from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, April the 10th, 2020. The IDF accused the Syrian army today of helping terror group Hezbollah set up a permanent presence in the Golan Heights. The IDF released video showing the head of the Syrian Armed Forces First Corps, Luau Ali Ahmad Assad, visiting Hezbollah positions in the area, tweeting, consider this a warning, we won't allow Hezbollah to entrench itself militarily in Syria. A synagogue in Huntsville, Alabama, was vandalized with anti-Semitic threats Wednesday night, the first night of Passover. Southern Jewish Life magazine reports that hateful slurs, including Jew scum and white power, were found on the building and grounds of the conservative Etz Chaim synagogue, along with Nazi symbols. Vice President of the Southern Division of the Anti-Defamation League, Allison Padilla Goodman, said we are horrified by the graffiti, especially during Passover, when people focus on liberation and unity. The support for the synagogue, which has been closed because of the coronavirus, has been vast, and community members of all faiths came out to show their support and help clean up the hateful messages. Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle said the city condemns anti-Semitism in the strongest possible terms. As a city and as an inclusive community, he said we stand side by side with our Jewish brothers and sisters and people of all faiths. Well, a glimmer of hope in the battle treating coronavirus patients, six critically ill patients in Israel were treated with a placenta-based cell therapy product from the Haifa company Pluristem and responded very well, showing significant improvement. The treatment was given under the Compassionate Use Program intended for patients who are considered at high risk for mortality. The company said it will now begin clinical trials of the treatment and that it is also in contact with regulators in the United States and in Europe. Among the deaths this week from COVID-19, several Jewish figures in the arts, including Mad Magazine cartoonist Mort Drucker, who was 91, feminist visual artist Helene Elan, who was 89, and veteran character actor Alan Garfield, who was 80. Israeli judoka Sagi Muki is showing what truly makes him a world champion. Ynet reports that Muki is auctioning off memorabilia to raise money for ventilators to treat coronavirus patients at the Lanyado Hospital in Netanya, where he is from. Muki won the Judo World Championship last year in Japan. He is now selling a number of his personal items, including his black belt and uniform from that fight. All the money that I will raise in this project, he said, will go to the hospital for equipment to protect against the virus. And marking Good Friday in the shadow of the coronavirus, Archbishop Pier Battista Bitsabala spoke to the press today outside of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem's Old City, saying that Good Friday was being marked under very difficult circumstances, and he called for prayer for people suffering from and dying from the virus. Pizzabella is the Vatican's apostolic administrator in the Holy Land. He led a small group of clerics in a closed-door service in the church, after which they will walk the Via Della Rosa, which is normally walked by tens of thousands of pilgrims who come to Jerusalem from across the world. All religious sites in the Old City are, of course, closed to the public because of the pandemic. Well, tens of thousands of Israelis found a way to celebrate the Passover Seder together while separated, each in their own homes under the countrywide lockdown to try and fight the spread of the coronavirus. They came out onto their balconies, stood at their windows, and sang the Manishtana together. The four questions which are sung during the Passover Seder, which asks why this night is different from all others. Mm -hmm. 
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, April the 10th. At 5 o'clock, Passover prayers from the Hampton Synagogue, then live Shabbat services from Central Synagogue in New York City, followed by a concert with popular Israeli mass singing phenomenon Kululam in concert from the recent APAC National Policy Conference. At 8 o'clock, remarks from noted philosopher Rabbi Adin Steinsaltz. At 9, it's the film Brothers about the clash of two brothers in Israel, one of whom is religious, the other secular. And coming up right after this newscast, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News update for Friday, April the 10th, 2020. Wishing all of our friends who observe Easter a very happy, safe, and meaningful holiday. And continued happy Passover wishes. Chag Sameach. Shabbat Shalom. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.